exercise library on how to grow those glutes with the glute bridge. All right guys, as you've heard me talk before in the other videos when we've been hitting glutes, and I'll have them tag one of those above, that the glute bridge is an exercise to me that is the, should be the foundation of your program if glutes are a goal for yours to grow. So, you know, sadly in the internet and a lot of circles and Instagram, you'll see people say all day long, squat, deadlift, and your glutes are covered, right? And to me, I, I'm sorry, that's it just couldn't be further from the truth. I squatted and deadlifted until I was blue in the face, and my glutes did not get developed until I started doing barbell glute bridge. But if you're like me and your glutes didn't grow off of that, we have to find alternate ways to make those muscles grow, get bigger, and get more detailed. Now, luckily here at Elite, we have this new machine that I'm gonna show you guys how to use, but the glute bridge directly targeted my glutes. And I'm gonna show you a specific way how to use this piece to keep your quads and hamstrings out of it. So let's get on this piece and show you how to use it. All right, so on this Nautilus piece, I had the belt already set to where it's gonna be tight on my waist. So just sit back and you want this thing super tight. You do not want it loose and you'll see <laughs> you really have to wrench it in to get it to go. There, it is fully tight on my waist. Now, I'm just gonna sit back into this, press up, disengage the safety. Now, from here, now I wanna show you some different ranges. You'll, this thing can go all the way to, I'm sitting on the machine. That is not my glutes that I'm working here. It's gonna be a lot of quad and hamstring drive. So, I wanna stop where my glutes are good. So we're here to here, one, two. Now. Push into these handles here, squeeze, and then if you notice I'm with my head and my chin, I'm tucking it, shortening my abdominals to get my full glute contraction. So we're here, they are short range of motion. Bam, one, two. One, two, squeeze that glute. One, two. Push into those handles hard. One, two. Do not go full range of motion. All right, so come down here, perfect range of motion. Up, squeeze, one, two. One, two, squeeze those abs. One, two, drive into those handles for leverage. One, two, one, two, give me one more, bam, rack out. Now, just with those sets of no way on the machine, my glutes have a huge pump. So if you do this right, it's a killer exercise. Now, let me show you how to upgrade it. All right, so if you want to enhance this exercise and level it up, I'm going to use a short red band from Lead FTS hook it around that band peg and around the other. Now, there's another band peg on the other side. Let's show you where to put that. There you go. Nothing changes here, guys. All we're doing with that band is gonna make the contraction significantly harder, and which is why we're doing it. Hook the belt, crank it down, push your hips back, push your head up. Now, same technique here, right to there. Feel the tension of those bands, now fire up. Bam, one, two, shorten. One, two, shorten. One, two. One, two. One, two. Just like that. Now, the goal there is I would alternate week to week. I go one week with bands, one week without the bands. Still trying to progress up both days. This is an exercise I would definitely try to do if you're new to it with progressive overloads. What that means is, if I'm shooting for 10 to 12 reps every single week, I wanna to try to beat either the numbers of reps or the weight that I use every single week. So, if you think about that, alternating weeks will be different weight than the weeks with the bands, because obviously you won't be able to use as much weight with the bands as you would with it. So, track that weight, then I would do a back off set, right? So let's say my top end load on this piece is four plates aside and two red bands track that, then I'd strip down the two plates in two bands, and I'd go to absolute failure again, really maximize the contraction. So on that, I was doing a two count contraction. On the back offset, I would actually do a three to four count contraction, doubling down on how short I can make my glutes. So let's say you don't have one of these pieces. Guess what? I'm gonna show you how to do it with a bar. Okay, quick, look at this setup. Bumper plates, bar, pad for my waist. This is the only time you'll see me use this pad. If you see me letting somebody squat with this, please fire me immediately. <laughs> just turn around and fire me and ask for your money back because I'm doing you a huge disservice. <laughs> so what we want to think about here is I have this bench behind me. It's flat. And then all I'm going to do is just drive them into place. So I'm going to take my hands. I'm going to drive them down here, pop my feet, and then I'm right under the bar. So if you look, I want him to show you my knees are over my ankles and they're stacked. 
Now, range of motion, still very similar. I'm gonna sink my hips down, trying to keep my knees still over my ankle, and then bam, one, two, shorten. Here, one, two. One, two. There you have it, guys. If you don't have one of those fancy machines, this is how you build your glutes. <laughs> there you have it, guys. Exercise library, glute bridge, either on a machine or with a bar. Do this today. Make your glutes bigger, make them stronger, make them more powerful, and you'll watch things like your squat, your deadlift, your leg press, your hack squat all go up because your glutes are gonna be stronger, getting them in the fully shortened position. Thank you guys for following along. We really appreciate all the likes, shares, subscribes that we've had. Without you guys, this is not possible because as we grow, I'm gonna to continue to pump out more quality content. Thanks for following along. Until next time.